Yo, what's up, y'all? What's up, Square Pit Brigade? On this episode, we have Simeon Goodson. He's here. We discuss relationships falling apart during COVID, finding yourself single in China, people being jealous of you being comfortable, and how to find your own space. This is a good one. This is my man, Sim, uh, yeah. back from Dubai and China and doing comedy all over the all over the world. Yeah, shit, a so. great, crazy story about what's going on with Simeon and uh, like a lot of fun, but also... Uh, do us a favor, follow us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content, bonus shows, listener mail, stuff like that. And it uh, helps support the show and helps us keep going. So patreon.com slash manschool202. This week, we're just going to be doing some listener mail and bonus content on the Patreon exclusive episode. For Dante's consultations, go to DanteNero.com. Uh, if you want to consult with me, you can find me via email, uh, advice from Harry at gmail.com for any type of dating, sex, relationship, or just life advice. Uh, advice from Harry at gmail.com. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? And I am excited. Now, I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I mean it. Mm. Um, this is my dude, man. Uh, I, I like a lot of motherfuckers, uh, uh, Harry. Um, and I yeah. don't like a lot of other motherfuckers. This but is this, true. This is one of the dudes that I really well, you dig. like. Well, you like a lot of people, but you don't like like. <laughs> A yeah, lot of I like, people. I like this dude. But anyway, first of all, how you doing, Harry? You ready? I didn't even I absolutely. I'm ready to rock and roll. You ready to rock absolutely. and roll? Absolutely. God damn it. I was born uh, ready. This dude, this dude, funny dude. Um, I've known him ever since I've been doing comedy. Almost it's probably about 18 years now, something like that. Uh funny, funny dude. Uh I don't know how he was surviving out in dubai but we, we'll talk about that yeah, into that the adventures uh give it up for my man simeon goodson yo simeon, you know, oh Sim. snap what's going on everybody Sim what's, going on? what's popping what's good brother how are you it's good to see you family it's good yes to sir see you. you too good to how are see, things good, it's good man it's good to see you good to have you back yes sir it's good to be back we missed you brother we yeah. missed you yeah, it's uh, the first time i did it on, on the zoom yeah, yeah, we used to yeah. go over there with the you, liquor and all that. Yeah, we had the whole bar and everything. We'll, <laughs> right. We'll, we'll, we'll I missed that. I don't have I don't have no drinks with me. We'll get that uh, back. I'm fucking up. We'll get that. We'll get it. We'll get you back in here soon. Now, we might That's be moving up. the studio, so Okay. We, we'll see. We'll see how that yeah. works too. So um, Simeon right, is the first one who's missed the bar. That's the first time we've heard yeah, like, that's hey the man. First time some hey, really? man, I missed the bar. <laughs> oh man. We've had other part. returning guests on Zoom. They complain about, ah, you know, it's not the same comedy wise. Simeon's like, yeah, yeah, fuck all that. That we're, bar, though. Right. Yeah, so and, drinks. and we've had motherfuckers go come here in the bar and leave and have car accidents afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had well, what you call it. Gavin McGinnis had a bike accident when Jesus. he left here. Bicycle, not yeah, a motorcycle. No, nah, a just, bicycle. Just bicycle just crashed into somebody. So wow. it is, but still, many That's to, to our knowledge the only accident actually that anyone's had leaving the studio. Yeah, yeah. Well, is the this one? I didn't reported. know another one. Okay. No, no, I think that was the only one. Yeah. Sim, what's popping, baby? It's good. So, Sim, let me just say, Sim's one of the un most underrated funny dudes I know. Okay. Uh, always was a funny, funny dude. Never really got the props that I think he should have got. Um, but you know. Hopefully that'll change. Um, right, we're still working on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, what else we gonna do? What else we gonna do, fam? But keep pushing, keep pushing. That's it. And it ain't like we gonna quit. You know what I mean? Right. It, you know, it's like I I run into motherfuckers. Yo, you still doing that comedy shit? Yo, thanks, <laughs> thanks for that. But yeah, I'm yeah. still doing that comedy shit. Absolutely. And, uh, I need to come see you. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you're not even invited no more. <laughs> right, right. Because it, you're, you're like I, you're not welcome there. Because the worst thing is to have somebody come and then you gotta, you gotta, you gotta host them. You bring you them, include them. Include you gotta include them in and then. Yeah. And, and most of the time they mad corny, and they don't. You know, the people don't understand living in this game. You hang out with some of the, the most intelligent, creative, funny people right. ever. And, right. And the rest of y'all suck. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love y'all. It makes y it hard to do small talk with anybody else. Uh, you know. Yeah. You right. know, I, I'll be talking to somebody, or, or Harry will be talking to somebody, and I'll be like, ah, <laughs> this stinks. This conversation stinks. a lot of go. small talk, man. Yeah. yeah Don't. I try and avoid it. Oh, boring. <laughs> uh, but last... Simeon, I mean, la yeah, last we left, I mean, Simeon went on a little bit of an adventure. I think it was right before you were leaving to Dubai. What was, how okay. did that I all I thought I did about? one when I came back. Did you? I don't know. Maybe. You might. I think, I I think you did. I did when you came. Yeah, when you first came. I did like back. a summertime one. Yeah. 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 yeah like yeah. in the middle of the trip, in the mid adventure. Yeah. So you now we still... post adventure. Yeah, and we were yeah because we were talking about how you know let's say uh just like Simeon asked about the bar. Simeon has been known to have a little taste here and there. Right. He Simeon right. will will turn up. Uh, right. Definitely smokes weed, and I I couldn't right. understand how he was in Dubai because it's dry <laughs> out there, right? It's not dry. No, it's not dry at all. No, I what? actually at Abu Dhabi, but it's not dry. There's liquor out there. You need a liquor license to uh -huh. drink. But oh, you gotta liquor. have a license to actually drink. Yeah, you're supposed to have a license to drink. So like, and you go to the liquor store and they check your documentation. Now what? Buy what do you need to get the license? Why? Well, how do they determine who has the license? Or it's just like every adult has to apply for that license. It, well, uh, if you want to drink, you have to apply for it. But it's generally for foreigners. So like Muslims aren't supposed to get it because they're oh. not supposed to drink. Right. But like, like they got a lot of foreigners in the country, so they try and cater to them. Oh, like you can't have you can't have mad British people anywhere and not let them drink. Yeah, yeah, They'll yeah, go yeah. crazy. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. They'll try to take over. Is this new or right, was right. that always the case? Because I remember when you were saying first, it was like you could get drinks, but it was like underground kind of like. No, but Saudi is like that. Like Saudi's dry. Saudi Arabia and uh, Kuwait. Kuwait was dry. So they don't have no liquor at all. There's liquor in the country, but you gotta right. like do some illegal shit for it. Right, right, but, right. And Abu Dhabi and Dubai, you could you could just go to a bar. They got bars and stuff. And you just gotta stores. have a license. At, yeah, I mean to buy liquor at the liquor store, you do at the bar. You just go in the bar. Okay, all right. And order drinks. And how yeah. did you get out there? What was the give Give us the background on how you got out there. Well, my wife was teaching, so she was right. teaching in New York. We right. were all here in New York, and then she applied for a job to work in Abu Dhabi, right. just kind of like a let's see what happens type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then she got the job, so we said, fuck it. Took a trip. You know, it was just that kind of shit. It was like 2015. Yeah. So, like, Obama's president. You know what I mean? Things is hot. <laughs> shit is thriving. Feel, feeling you know like what the mean? world Life is... is good. Right. You got the world <laughs> in your palm. You're like, fuck it. Let's travel across the world, see what happens. You know what I mean? My and Lambo and went. my president is black. <laughs> right, exactly. It was that type of timing. So we was good. And then we uh, left, went to Abu Dhabi for three years. Mm -hmm. Then we get, went to uh, Wuxi in China for three years. Oh, wow. And teaching. Then she was teaching there. She was teaching in China also, yeah. So then um, in China, we broke up. And then we did about a year in China where we broke up, but we were still, you know, were in you the same house together? and all that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. It was all because we had kids and stuff, so it was like, the whole family still in the same house. We wasn't like in the same bed and no shit, but right. you know, we was like how many in kids the you same have? House. Three, three. Oh, yeah, so we left here with two, picked up a new one on the way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got three. So then we was doing that, and then we just you know we caught back uh, July twenty twenty one, so July last year. So it's almost a year, just shy of a year. I'll have right. been back. How do you end up coming back? Like, what is it? It's just did both of you? Well, her contract. Back? Yeah, everybody came back. They went to, uh, they went to Houston, and then I came back to New York. Mm -hmm. So oh, wow. they're rolling in Houston. So I go out there, you know, yeah. see when I kids, can yeah. go see yeah. them. And then they came up for spring break. So you know, summer break, like extended vacations, they come up here. Right, right. You know what I mean? But like weekends during the school year, I'll just pop up down there. What was the, what was the, um, what's the ages? 10, 9, 5. Right. And what, what, what was the thing that broke it up? What are you, in your opinion? The relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we just kind of, I don't know, like we went through all the COVID together. We was on lockdown. Mm -hmm. And then 
we was in China. So like when COVID, normally we come home and we would come home in the summers. But right. when COVID happened, they shut down the borders. So if we left, we wouldn't have been able to come back right. into China. Right. So we just stayed there the whole summer. Plus, we didn't really know what was going on in New York because right. shit was getting crazy over here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it wasn't even like coming back was a good idea. You know what I mean? But it was yeah, just yeah. that type of shit. So we was just kind of like in each other's face for like, you know, two years straight. Right, right. With the kids. And then we was in China. So it's not like, you know, we had babysitters. And, you know what I mean? You can't drop them off in mom's crib or yeah, no yeah, shit yeah. like that. It was like literally us five right. in each other's mouth. So, you know what I mean? Two years, For two yeah. years. So I think it just kind of like, I don't know. I think it took just kind of got. Yeah. I think it took its toll, but it was just kind of a thing where it was just like, I don't know. We were just wildly unhappy. Yeah. I think personally, I'm not going to speak for her. I think personally, I was just like a little depressed. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it was just like, it, it didn't seem, at the time, I mean, I don't know. It didn't seem like something worth holding on to. You know what I mean? Right. Which is really more of an emotional thing, I yeah, think. Yeah. Than anything she did to me, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It was just, it was just like yeah. nothing. Things just seem kind of over, you know what I mean? Just, so let me, seemed... ask, let me ask you this: even look, well, let me ask you this: being in China, like you in this whole country, it's like right. You don't speak Chinese or nothing, right? Nah. So, like, how would the kids how did, do? Really? Because they, <laughs> right. they learned while they was out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They took classes in the school and shit. Yeah, oh, so they was they like we would be like in the store, like yo, tell them, <laughs> like yo, tell them, <laughs> ask him how much this cost, that type of shit. So we so, go to like that. What did that look like? You know, being in COVID in another country, like where it, you know what I'm saying? Like China's like lock, kind of locked down. Well, remember like, China locked down first. China yeah. locked down, and well. We we broke for um Chinese New Year. So that's they kind of like shut the country down anyway. Right. And then what they did was they just kind of extended their holiday. They was like, we just gonna not open up after mm -hmm. Chinese New Year. Right. And that ran from about like January to about March. So from that now, time when you we say was in New China. Year's, they shut down. What do you no, mean? No, Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year they Right, shut down like, like they, how? they they do like like big Christmas break, something like that. Where how like, many weeks? How many weeks is it? They usually do two, three weeks, but they just pushed it. You right. know what I mean? Because of COVID, so they right, it right. ended up being like a month and a half or something like that. Wow. But while while we was locked down, everybody in America was like, "What the fuck is going on over there?" Right, that niggas right. is bugging out. And then we got out of lockdown, and then y'all went into lockdown. Oh, and so, so you it was like March out there. So we were stuck in China, but we could go outside at that point. You right, know what I mean? So we go back. do shit. We yeah. couldn't leave. We couldn't leave and come back. Exactly. Right. right so right. at this point, um, you know, I mean, it wasn't it was weird, but it was weird all over the world. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. like it was yeah. weird in China and fine somewhere else. You know what I mean? Because right, right. everybody was going through it. We felt lucky based on the response we saw in America. You know what I mean? Like we felt we were like, we're glad we here. Right. But once that kind of wore off and, you know. You start work, you know, you want to like go home. Like that shit is tiring just being in China yeah. <laughs> like all fucking day. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like just being in Chinatown. Think about that. Like you just yeah. there all day. All day. You know if what I mean? Like not like we visit, else. We right. go you visit, get Chinatown. some duck. We get right. some duck and but come back. Still there. No, you can't leave. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like well, you just there. Yeah. I mean, well, everywhere well, in China is technically Chinatown, Simeon. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh. right. That's the OG. Yeah, that's the old, yeah, old Chinatown. So that's yeah, what I'm it's, saying. It's, so imagine that you just God, there. Wow. So it's like you know, and it's like it's one thing when you're there and you like, all right, we could just you know shoot back home and come back. You know what I mean for the summer get, or for a couple refresh, weeks or whatever, right? Like reset. But when you just like in there, stuck there, you know what I mean. Well, Simeon is like, hey man, I didn't sign up to actually be Chinese. I was <laughs> right. Uh, hoping right. I'm trying to be a little a, bit of a this, fucking have some colonizer. Yeah, have some Peking duck and then, you know, right. uh, whatever. You get some fireworks and then take a break and come back. But I'm not going to lie, though, because we left. Well, I left Abu Dhabi, like, kind of arrogant. You know what I mean? Like, this is like I can handle living in a foreign country right. easy because I've done it already. Right, but China right, right. was like, you know, China's like expert level. You know what I mean? Like, I would, well, Abu Dhabi shit is in English. 
people speak uh, English. Uh, you know what I mean? There's like an expectation that you're going to go someplace and they can communicate to you in English. Right, There's right. bars, you know what I mean? So they'll deviate from their own culture to right. accommodate you. Uh, China doesn't do that. Yeah. China's like, this is how we do shit. And you that's know, how you, yeah, they're like, you can do it this way fuck. or, you, you know, oh, figure it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, yeah, right. Or you can get the fuck out. Like, yeah, I mean, China's so just, not really in this, uh, in need of more people there right so right. They're, they're not known for their accommodation yeah they're not they're they, they're at full capacity as is but abu dhabi is a, a sort of a tourist uh, area so i mean it's that's exactly what they market it as so they want the english the american english and the want british that money. english they want that paper, yeah so they will right uh, let me ask you if you do you think if you had gotten that summer break you think y'all would still be together or you think it would have still it would have i mean there's no telling you know what i mean yeah, it's really no telling because it might. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, or it might know. have. De- I don't might think have delayed the inevitable. Maybe, maybe or it might have delayed have sped it up. Year. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I yeah. might because if we came back for the summer, like I might have just not went back to China. You know what I mean? Because I right. wasn't like enjoying myself in China. Like yeah. I was make you, you know you make it happen. You know what I mean? You find your little bars, you find your crew that you hang out with, and all that shit. But I wanted to come back like really bad. Who right. is so, your like, crew in China? How'd you put it to uh, put together a crew in China? What is Simi? Well, crew you know, look we com- like? we com- we comedians, so that's how you make yeah. friends as a comedian. So, you did you do shows. comedy out there or no? I've done comedy everywhere I've ever been. Yeah. Really? How did that work yeah. when when the lang- with the language barrier? Well, I was doing comedy for foreigners. I wasn't doing so it would be foreigners oh. and okay. Chinese people who spoke English. I didn't do Chinese language comedy. Okay. I was just doing. They, they know it was English language, but it was really for people who had been in China uh-huh. and just hadn't seen something for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, we would go to some small cities and get, like, the whole, you know, foreign population of that city out. The whole town. You know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. whole, yeah, like, every British person, every Australian, what kind of, you know what, what I mean? What kind of numbers? What kind of numbers with that? It depends on the city, but you get, like, 80, 100 people, you know what uh, I mean? Right. And then, that's, you know, but you you do that once and then you go, you know what I mean? You can't have, there's no you scene can't. there, you know yeah, what I mean? You're not going to yeah. stay and can't start go there every week. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it's just, it, it was an event. So it was just, that was what I was doing. I how really many, didn't start how many doing little that. towns did you go to? Um, I mean, I went to cities and I went to, damn, I went to Wuxi, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Beijing, uh, Shenzhen, mm-hmm. Xi'an, Wuhan, uh, fucking... Nanjing, uh, hmm. I don't I'm know. Saying it like I know what the fuck it is. But okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fucked with Nanjing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nanjing, Nanjing is Nanjing, dope. Yo. Oh man, yo, we found this Irish pub in Nanjing called Finnegan's, ran <laughs> by this Irish dude. Yeah. Right. Fucking. Alcoholics Anonymous Irish dude. This dude was dead ass sober. Like, really? never drank a drink in his life, right? But he right. had this bar, two story bar. And, like, he would just let us rock in there. Like, he would have AA meetings at the bar. This thing is bugging. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but he would also let us drink. He had fucking mimosas. And it was really like a hub for, like, right. all the foreigners. You know what I mean? So right, that's right. the type of shit that happens in China. You know what I mean? Like, as a foreigner, you just set up like a hub uh-huh. where foreigners can link up. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And then, you know, I was like, DJing and like shit. Like a real, so uh, a party. live Facebook. <laughs> but you like know what a, it is? It's like, it's the same way that, like, Chinatown came to exist in other places. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? That's and it's, just say, it's, it's the same thing. It's just the opposite. You know what right, I mean? That was it's us just a foreign gathering community. together. Yeah. Right. right. But China is not like, we're going to give you a certain piece of China. You yeah, know what like, I mean? They're not going to wow. give you an America town. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna be yeah, like, nah, yeah. you gotta live with us. You know what I mean? Like, we gotta keep an eye on. I you. would love America Town. America Town would be lit. You come uh, in there, but hamburgers you and fresh fries. Gotta go there to buy guns. Yeah. <laughs> guns, right. weed, and hooker, and, and American hookers. You gotta right. go to America. T- yeah, that's crazy, dog. I mean, it's an experience. You originally a Brooklyn dude, right? Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. What part? Yeah. I'm in East New York now, but we moved around a lot growing up. We was in Crown Heights, we was yeah, in yeah. Bed-Stuy, Clinton Hill, so yeah, yeah. you know how that go. Yeah. But now we settled in East New York, so. Mm. That's oh, dope. yeah. White That's people dope. coming, though. They on the way. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. East New I didn't York. think they was going to get back there. <laughs> I didn't think they was going to get over here, but they Well, coming. look, they everywhere else, they just starting to creep in East New York. 
So right. it goes it took, to show it took you decades. Yeah, it took yeah. decades, but it's happening. Here's, so, a, here's how you know they coming when they start putting the marble curbs in. When they start working on the oh, curbs. Oh, nah, we're not on that. Nah, yeah. we're not, nah we, we got the pre colonizers. We, we got, got the Christopher <laughs> Columbuses coming uh, through. The real staking extremists. it out. The hipsters. Right, Stake, right. staking the, it the out. Pa- Dude, with a uni- unicycle and a top hat. The like, Ponce yo, de Leon. No, we're not up to that yet. We, we ain't even got to, we, that yet. We up, to, we up to just like plain looking white dudes. Regular white dudes. They walking need, around. Just looking need suspicious. A, need right. a place to stay. Right, looking for a building to buy. It's crazy. How was the so the so you basically was just doing international comedy basically like just you know trying to trying to relate to these motherfuckers from internationally just right. everybody who spank, spoke English right pretty much yeah how's the broads out there how's the broads the broads in China well after we broke up I just went like full slut mode. Yeah. Like in China, wild it. But here's the thing about China: all the dudes in China is there for Chinese women, right? You know what I mean? Like they they go there for that. So that just left like this whole population of foreign women who are just being completely oh, ignored, like who nobody's paying attention. British, exactly, British, British, American. So everybody got African, the yellow fever. Jamaican. They got the yellow right. fever, and, and then it's just me. Fuck with the foreign girls, you know. <laughs> Like going crazy, like yeah, yeah it was dope. It so was when you say everyone's there for Chinese for for Chinese girls, do you mean like the the Chinese men or like the Russ foreigners Manif. that come over, like Russ Manif, oh, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Masavia. Okay. Who's that? I don't know who that is, but I'm you assuming don't know they white dudes. You don't remember Masavia? That might have been before us. Yeah, I, I know you know Russ Manif, the comic. I, I don't think I do. At, we used to do at, over at the Boston, at Comedy Village and stuff. Back in the air, yeah, it was a long time ago. It don't matter. Yeah, I smoke a lot. <laughs> you and I both. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's crazy, though. So, so you it, find yourself single all of a sudden in the middle of China, right? right? And so what is it? What do you do to go out and date? I mean, I guess you just Nah, but I was single. And... I was black, and I was doing comedy. So ah. it was just like this weird, crazy shit they'd never seen before. You know what I mean? They were like, so you, like you're not my Stephon Marbury? <laughs> <laughs> my experience is not comparable to, like, other people's experience. Right, 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 right. Because right. I was out there just, like, hustling shit. I was doing the same shit we do out here, but right. in China. You know what I mean? The yeah. difference is everybody does it here. So you call the bar, you're like, yo, can I get a show? And they're like, oh, no, nah, we've done that before. Fuck you. But like you do it out there, and they're like, "What? We've never heard of this." And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And, you know, just sell the show. The same shit we do here when you go to the back room at a bar, and just less people like, doing it. Wow, right. so it was only me everybody. doing it. Wow, nobody. So you were like, you became the comedy hub, dude. Where all these uh, and- I wasn't. I wasn't the hub because I was doing it for myself. I wasn't trying to put people on. I was bouncing from city to city doing shows. You know so what I mean? Just, but I was head, just, it was just you headlining or, or you had a couple was, of dudes you was rocking with? No, usually you just work with whoever's there because that's more, you know, you just increasing the budget when you add people on it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like yeah, yeah. traveling and all that shit. So I'm just, I was really out there because I had nothing. Like I wasn't allowed to work. My visa was there as a spouse visa. So it's not like I could get a job and have right. something to do all day. I was right. with my son all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. He wasn't in school or nothing. It was just me and him holding it down all day. So right. I was just like, grinding you know what i mean i was like like i said i had like i think i had a little depression you know what i mean i had a therapist out there yeah, so yeah. i was just doing shit to like keep my mind busy like i was going to the gym you know what i mean? like i was never just yeah. sitting there watching tv you know what right, i mean right. i was like just trying to occupy my mind i was looking say, you look good to... my nigga you look good Thank like you, man. you I appreciate you it you look like you've been hitting it like yeah nah that's the pressure muscles you know how that go <laughs> <laughs> that's five six hours at the gym with that yeah. depression well, because you're like, well, I, I could go to the gym or I could sit here and watch this Chinese television that I don't understand. Right. I guess or I'll like go lift these weights again. Fucking another bottle of liquor. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I could drink. And, and oftentimes you just end up doing both. Yeah, you yeah. just get this. You just start a little later because you went to the gym already. You know what I mean? Yeah. You fit it in. So. You get it in. Right. When Simeon so. talks about getting it in, he means the drinking. He's like, I get it in yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it right. Uh, I just want to be it. consistent. All, he goes right. I, I did five reps today at the gym. He goes like, "What now?" <laughs> what yeah, I don't count at the gym. Yeah, yeah. What was funny is Simeon. Like when we were younger, Simeon was the 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 
the dude that I spoke to, when I would be counseling dudes, I'd be like, y'all motherfuckers, you, 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 you're like, you're small. Like I would tell it like, so a lot of times it's funny. I was counseling this dude and he, he's going through my program because I got it all developed. Now I got a whole program. I put dudes through to make them the Don. Okay. Right. So, but I've been doing it so with so many people that have went through the, the man school college, right? That I could even on the body language and what I was what I was realized I was, I met this dude actually had oh you wasn't there. Dude came up to he came up to see me at Comic Strip Live and he was like, yo, he had got a couple consultations because I was doing that's that was my hustle. Like I was doing these consultations and I had dudes calling me from all over the world, like Dubai wales australia just on the phone telling niggas how to i even had a dude from florence and i'm like nigga you can't get no pussy in florence like right come on you're italian nigga like, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it shows you how universal this whole will smith syndrome is you know uh -oh. niggas, uh -oh. niggas get the niggas get the business and they get worn down and i so the kid came up to comic strip and he was like um I said, yo, he was like, you know, I'm having a really problem going to the next level, blah, blah, blah. And I said, because you, you, I, what I was saying to him, I said, you small. And I didn't mean size small. I said, but you're, Energy you're, small. you're, well, you're afraid to take up space. Like your body language is like, you don't feel like you belong here. So you're, yeah, you're, I went through a lot of that. You know, you're, that was you're the like, thing you told me a lot. Yeah, and, and the yeah. thing is, Sim, what's crazy, and you don't know this, but I always used you as an example, like, of not giving a fuckedness. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I've even said that to Harry. I was like, you don't understand. It's like, because Harry would always be like, yeah. yo, I don't want, you know, I don't want to be an asshole. You know, I don't want to be an asshole. I don't want to be this. And not that you're an asshole, but I'm saying young Simeon, which is interesting because it's even looking at you now, you you still take up space, but you way mellowed out. <laughs> like, you know, Sim, you right. was wild. Right. You, That's what I hear. I don't, <laughs> I don't have Sim full was recollection. Like, Sim was, I was like, you don't understand when motherfuckers don't give a fuck. You, like, you, you could take up more space because you're not really looking for this you're not looking for this acceptance, right? You're not trying to like other. And I, and I don't want to say this the wrong way because you know, Sam, I love you, bro. But it's there's motherfuckers that are always worried about stepping on somebody's toes, and you're not right. a reckless dude that just tromps off. But I mean, you took up space when Sim hits right. the room. You knew right. Sim was in the room. It was like <laughs> right. It was right. And, and so I used to always say, yo, like, Simi. it's funny because people's always like, yo, you got to chill out. And I'm like, all right, you know, like, you know, <laughs> like, if you only knew, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I'll give you that. When now? Yeah, I'm talking about now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh yeah. People still tell me to calm down and chill out. They don't know the like pure that. uncut. That's cool. They don't know the right. pure Right. But you know, that's Simian. just, right, right. That's fucking, you know, it Dude, is what it is. I'm not I'm mad at it. I'm going to tell you what that, what's, what's weird with that is, um, a lot of times that's jealousy right of you being comfortable in your skin right but it's like i'm not here to fight niggas battles for them you know what i mean you need me right, to calm right. down i'll calm down I'll right right somewhere I'm, else and be wild you know what i mean like there's right, a whole right, right. earth out here i don't need to be loud here if it's making you uncomfortable i'll go you know but, what i mean right right or if but, i need to be here i'll, I'll quiet down but I, what's funny is there's a whole different you your your whole you you know what i'm saying your whole shit is like right. so like confident but chill but just like right on you know what i'm saying right right in the pocket where you, you where, it. yeah it's thank you man it's real cool so but i used to always use you as i, I was i would say because ha like harry was a a dude who would be like yeah, not I, anymore he's an asshole now yeah but, that's right that's fine <laughs> but that's used to man, be like He's always be like, yo, I don't, I don't want, you know, I don't want. He be talking to yeah, some chick. Yeah, very shy and shy. energy, not confident, and you know, right. acting like people were doing me a favor by talking to me, and you know, I didn't want to make any waves because I thought waves were problem. Right. Yeah. You know, and I didn't realize that. No, you got to stand out. You have to be 
comfortable, not even to make a scene, but just I should I belong. You know, not right. these, what have like, any I, of these I other people done that 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 I feel like I'm lesser than, which I shouldn't. You know, I should be I belong. Right. Yeah, that's what I had to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really, right. You're here because somebody wants you. here. Yeah. 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 And if right. they don't fuck them and if they. Right. And, and the difference is the maturity that I see in you is like, all right, it was, it's too much for you. I go right. It's more that it's like it's too much for you. Like and I get that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get it. It can be a lot. So, you know. But I just, you know, people always want to chill. You know what I mean? People yeah, be yeah. like, yo, calm down. And then next time they see me, they're like, oh, we chilling. Like, oh, you know, so it's like, ah, I'm not right. <laughs> Niggas want me to wild out. Like, you know, they try. You know, a lot of it is people want to, like, control how I wild out. You know what I mean? They want like, to like, knob. I want to I I show you to my friends type shit. Like, let me introduce <laughs> you to Sim. And he's doing wild out once. I'm like, nah, I'm not wild out there. Like, I'll, you know. <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. But, give, that me, but give me time. I'm saying. Right, right. You gotta, you know you gotta wait is. for it. It'll happen. Right. It's not our right. command. It's just... like, uh, <laughs> right. It's like an eclipse. Yeah. yeah I, like a, it's that... like hunting a deer. You can't. It'll show up. Right. Or it'll just right. be in the it's area. Be just be in the vicinity <laughs> of the Simeon Good. And you will ex, You will get the Simeon Goodson so experience. Here, isn't there? Look, right. look. Yeah. You relax. stand here with these apples. <laughs> Don't worry. The buck is coming. He can just. When? When's he exactly. coming? Son, just hold the apples and shut up. Nigga. He's I mean, I was dead ass getting paid to do that in China. Like, I would just throw parties and DJ and shit. And, like, they would just come out. You know what I mean? Because, like, first I was a black dude DJ, and that oh. makes your hip hop club in China look crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? The photos from that look crazy. They're like, yo, we got a real live black dude. From Brooklyn. Right. From Brooklyn, right. They like you out oh, there. This club, like, you this from club Brooklyn. is the truth. Everybody right. like, nah, but they we clapping be... politely. Right. <laughs> did you do like, any I of the made money while and out? I did made you... money going did fucking. Did you do crazy, any so. uh like hey, you know, is Wuhan in the house? Any of that? <laughs> like Gang Jing in the nah. building. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you do that, but you, you do that with the foreigners though. Because the Chinese yeah. Chinese people don't party. Like we party, you know what I mean? Uh, like no. Chinese people sit there and drink and listen to the music, but they right, won't right. like get up and move around and shit. Right, right. So like with the foreigners though, you'd be like, "Yo, what city y'all from?" All that dumb shit, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. People were clapping. Yeah, you know we have a budget, but when you international, you can start going city where you from. You start going country where you from. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And then when you start getting the parties with like that, when the Africans come out, it goes crazy. You know what I mean? Because really? Africans don't Africans dance when music's on, they dance it. You know what I mean? So if you yeah. got a party with a bunch of Africans, this shit is lit all night. Yeah, we all we, fucking night. We seeing it on Instagram every day. Right, yeah. right, crazy, <laughs> right. That's what they do in their living room. <laughs> Imagine when they all get together. Son, I I went to an African party. First of all, that shit is like 185 BPMs. Their music is like right. Bing, 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 bing. Right. And they go like that forever. They, they right rock all night. Out. But All it, night. I was, but I was telling this dude. I said, Doug, you know, no dis. I said, I'm, I'm not disrespect. I said, but you, you, you don't, you're, you you're not taking up space. And right. and he did. He was like, Well, you, no, I, I, you know, no, respectfully, I disagree. I said because you're not really comfortable in your skin, and I could feel that you're not comfortable in your skin because of your body posture. You're just the way you stand, the way you sit. You don't, you don't. You don't feel like you belong there because you're not really comfortable with who you are, and women never find that attractive. They, right. even if you get a demure nigga, like a real cool nigga, like the nigga from the Dos Equis nigga, you know what I'm saying? Most, <laughs> he's still a nigga that takes up. You know what I'm right. saying? He quietly right. takes up. You gotta take up space because you. You gotta piss on your trees. Yeah, you gotta belong there. You, you, <laughs> you gotta piss on your trees. Yeah, you, gotta, you know, yeah. let niggas know you was there. And the, the let niggas the, know you'll be back. The dose ecky nigga, he may not piss on the tree, but he'll he'll take a spray bottle and just you know what I mean? squirt. <laughs> he just squirt it a little like. What are you doing? Yeah, this guy mm, don't do worry. It. Yeah, this guy pisses on the tree for him. Yeah, he's like pee on this one for me. <laughs> so it's 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 interesting, and I've always used you as an example of of a dude. I, the last time I saw you, we was on we was on McDougal. I don't know if you remember this. Um, you had a a star a thirty two ounce styrofoam cup. Yeah, 
<laughs> I can already tell I'm not going to remember this story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you saw me. You grabbed me because Sim's taller than me. Grabbed me. You buried me in your chest. Kissed me on the head. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was like, what up, Sim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this all sounds very accurate. I'm not going to lie to you. Which is weird because I've seen it several times, and you're like, where do you get a styrofoam cup in this bar? They don't have – you came in with that because they don't have – no bar carries styrofoam cups. So when you, you, when, know, you, you came, when you came back, what you call it? Because, you know, what Kim, Kim was booking the shows – and right. she was like, you know, Sim, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. She was like, he good? I go, fuck yeah. Uh, that nigga like funny as shit. So it was like, I was like, oh, man, I'm so I'm happy to have you on. But I just, I want you to know how I've always seen you as that dude, that, that kind of confidence and stuff like that. And it, it's, it's, it's real dope because I'm always telling dudes that, you know, the other thing is never no shade. Like never no catty shit, no right. Get, That's the worst shit. Yeah, Sims yeah. never like some bitch ass shit. Just yeah. a, a just a good dude, and, right. and I, I don't think that a guy. I think it's because gonna... you know niggas got real problems. <laughs> like yeah. comedy's not a, like a real problem. Like it's money and all that, it's career and all that, but it's yeah. not a, it's not nothing that's going. Yeah. I don't gotta watch my back when I go outside. Yeah, fucking with yeah. comedy. You know what not, I mean? Like I don't like... have to. It's not like having a pistol. A a pistol. Street. Yeah, it's not like having a pistol in your face to put put things in perspective. <laughs> exactly. You be like, oh, I can't. It's not like being detained by the Chinese government for fucking <laughs> performing illegally. You know what I mean? So, I think I can handle yeah. rumors. That's dope. Was the yeah. was the breakup difficult or was it just kind of mutual? Oh no, it was like catastrophic. Really that shit was crazy. Yeah, it was just bad. I, I mean, we was just like in that space together. You know what I mean? I'm out there. You know, we you know we both know what the what the other one doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was just like it was crazy. Yeah. I wanted to leave. I wanted to leave China, but mm -hmm. then we figured for the kids it'd be better. Yeah. If we all just left together, but that's what I wanted to do. Like I, I wanted to be out. Like yeah. I didn't want to be there with her. Yeah. Every day. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah, it's um. Here's the other. Here's the other thing. It's it's what I, I and I think I understand this more than ever because I don't know if you know this, but I had a I had a son. Okay. I got a son now. My I'm, I married somebody from England. Came here, right, was a fan of the show, and then went you know went on a trip to to England to see the I financed the trip to England and then was like I'm not coming back. Oh wow! So my son is in England. I haven't seen him in, I don't know, since September. So I'm wow. trying to set some things up out in England, so okay. I can work out there and then go see him yeah. and stuff. But it, but it was like, um, you know, I think also it was part of the pandemic. It was during the pandemic, mm -hmm. but it right. was also, you know, like I was 52, around 52 when I met her, and I and I always say never make decisions you know never give uh never give emotions a, a seat, seat at, at the, the table. table you know what right. i'm saying you never make good decisions on on emotional and and it wasn't that the emotion wasn't uh yo i got this chick that because that was never you know me getting chicks was that was never a problem an issue uh, right but <laughs> being 52 not having any children and then she you know she was pregnant and i was like yo what am i gonna do like i i'm 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 here counseling dudes and teaching dudes how to be men and i don't even got my little sh like i don't even have the legacy to kind right. of move this because you know i'm not a religious dude but i believe that immortality is moving your dna to the next generation Okay. And I didn't have that, and I had no real prospect because I kept turning, you know, like I've always had an opportunity to do that, but I never thought that somebody was good enough to have mm -hmm. my seed, you know what I mean? Okay. And, uh, and then I, um, I met this girl who, 
it was funny because you know Aaron Berg, right? Yeah. So Aaron and him, they had their baby, their, their girl. And she was here. And uh, she came, we hooked up, whatever. She was staying with me. And I saw her with their baby. Like this minute their baby walked in, mm-hmm. she couldn't see nothing else but this baby. Right? Wow. Like, like the maternal just... And it didn't matter what we was doing. We was partying. We was drinking. She was running around with the baby. Talk, and I was like, wow, she's a dope mom. And even though we had our, you know, the separation or whatever, whatever, she's, I still, she's just a dope mom. Like, when it comes to a mom, her focus, right. her laser focuses. And I was like, I want to do comedy. I, I don't mind taking, you know, I'm, 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 I got enough paper that I could take care of somebody. I could, uh, but I need somebody, I need to know that my seed is, is right. well taken care of. And right. she was so attentive in that. But what I didn't realize was that there was, I wasn't in that, you know, I wasn't in that, 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 that equation. You know what I mean? It was so focused and not that I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a needy dude, but yo, I am the nigga paying the bills. You know what I'm saying? Like you, right. you, you know, whatever. So it was like, and then she couldn't, she couldn't really make any friends, which was also because she was so laser focused. On right. Her. So she didn't really make no friends and then COVID hit. And so she was really depressed about that and probably some postpartum. And, but the thing was, she didn't say I'm going to go and stay. It was like, I, I you know, it was like the, the switcheroonie. And right. then, you, yo, I'm not coming back. And I was like, what, yo, what, well, I have friends here and family. It would just be better for his socialization. And I was like, better than being with his father like right what he but also she's younger like she's right. 30 years old so she don't understand that the friends that you know there's niggas i grew up around here that i don't even fuck with like you you right. you, you can't have 30 friends right you know what i mean there's right. no such thing as 30 friends so she had a whole because she was like a club kid she had a <laughs> friends in berlin and friends the squad friends. yeah and and then yeah when you come back and then you have your kid and my dude is my little dude is like me like he's two and a half but he you know you go to a a gay couple they got the minimalist you know the minimalist furniture and and my little dude with his mitts is smacking (laughs) your 80 inch tv nigga that ain't (laughs) and nobody that cute you know what i mean right so you got so so it's it's just uh you know I'm I'm 55 and it's like you you've seen so much that you go and and I could see where she was at when I was when I had a squad and niggas, I was running around mm-hmm. stripping it was 18 niggas and right. yum yum and, but, and Georgie boy you know what I'm saying it was just niggas in the street wilding out. and I know that that all goes away because when life happens and you grow up you realize that things what's important is different right people people ain't really your friends also when you move up and you go to a different level not everyone moves up with you not everyone has the ability or desire to move with you and they they when you change your life in such a way even when people have kids some people don't the same friends aren't going to be your same friends the same friends at a successful level aren't going to be the same friends because they don't have those skills or desires so sometimes they can't hang or if you if you develop intellectually into something else, if you further your your path in life and sometimes you can't have the same conversations with those people, they might not just just not be interested. So unfortunately, you shed some of those people along the way. Yeah, a lot of them. And then a lot of them, you'll be like, I'm not fucking with this clown no more. Like, you, right. You'd be like, this thing is corny. I mean, me and Harry, we've been friends for almost 20 yeah. And there's sometimes we go a month without seeing each other. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Or when we, it's, you know, it's what up, what up, yo, love. Now, if he needs something, I got him. Sure. Or I right. need something, he got me. Yeah. yeah. But this, the, I think the the measure, it's it's interesting how, um, how that changes the dynamic of that changes. Sure. And and because having of, kids changes, it. marriages change it, relationship changes it a little bit. It's yeah. not always the same pattern, and some people can't adjust to that. And then also growing up, like running the streets, like you said, 
I'm like I'm not worried about somebody putting a hot one in me. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm not try, I'm not worried about getting two beans in the cabbage. So yeah. whatever problems I got, it's it's manageable. You know what I mean? It's exactly. Like, it's, <laughs> There's very few surprises here. Yeah, yeah. And then when you yeah. but if you you fucking with somebody that's thirty, it's all new. You know what I mean? And right. and and then the. You know the the funny thing is that I I have you have this platform yeah yeah you have this platform where you know tens of thousands of people listen to you and they hang on your every word it's not a time that we don't get where motherfuckers send me a message yo you you changed my life right and then you you got to you know your chick who was was a fan of yours all of a sudden now you don't know you don't know nothing like nothing you say is valid because it's like because you're too close to it you know what i mean it's well like, also it becomes a situation that the the perspective i find changes when kids get involved especially in relationships or uh, or for a woman especially because you yeah. have those motherly instincts yeah that kick in so i have found that women uh that i always thought that okay the kids welfare is the number one priority that is expected like you know, a woman is always worried about a child being in danger, and that right. is her number one priority. What I right. didn't also realize is that women consider the child being uncomfortable a danger or an emergency, and that's where you have to balance it out because, <laughs> like, they choose, they think the discomfort is a problem, and that becomes a priority. So it also gives them a sense of authority to an extent because they do know more about motherhood than we do. But there's a weird balance where it starts to bleed over, like, oh, you, all of a sudden you don't know shit. Yeah. Because I'm a mom. You don't know shit. The other thing I was thinking about, I remember when you was telling me you was going out, you was going to Dubai, right? And mm -hmm. anybody else, I would have I would have worried about them uh, because, you, you, you know, you went there because your wife had a job, right? Right. But so a lot of dudes would get get smothered by that because of the fact that yo i'm following my wife and with you i was like you ain't gonna stop sim shine like i right. knew yeah, it, that's in dubai in china in you know lithuania in the ukraine right. i mean honestly before i left like i was kind of like i mean like you said i was like i was like really out of control <laughs> you know what i mean like i was like like, you know what I mean? Because I had kids at that point. You know right. what I mean? And I was still partying. Like, I was outside. Like, yeah. you know, doing, you doing shows, and then you know how that go. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I was, like, working. I had a city job during the day. Mm -hmm. So I was just, like, grinding it out. Like, I was working yeah. all day, doing shows all night, partying after shows, yeah. getting two, three hours of sleep, yeah. doing that shit, you know, five days a week. Yeah. Going out weekends, come. You know what I mean? Until you crash. So you I didn't time. crash. Yeah. I didn't crash, but I felt like it was it was imminent. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that yeah. kind of contributed to me leaving yeah. America. I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I could stay here and keep bugging out until something happens. Because yeah, yeah. I had like crashed the car. You know what I mean? No, I didn't right. crash the car. I had uh, got a DUI. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So it was like, you, you know, shit was starting to go yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, you could. So feel it, like, it. it was like a contributing factor. I was like, I could use a break. You know yeah. what I mean? From just everything I know uh, uh, in New York City. You know what I mean? And it was crazy because, like, while I was gone, like, my cousin passed uh, and two of my best friends passed. So it was right. just like, you know, it was like, yeah, there's me... a good chance if I was here, I would have been with one right. of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? At some point, doing some wild shit. Yeah, so yeah. it was just like that. It was kind of just, I just needed, I need a break from yeah. me. Well, not from me, from from, <laughs> from <laughs> well, the I just, other, I needed, from I needed the other you. Of, I need a change of pace. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, things yeah. had. I needed a reset. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. So like, I went out there, and I think that kind of had because you know I was with my wife at that time while right, I was right. bugging out, wilding, yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So then you know you now we talking six years later. You know what I mean? Post COVID, I haven't really been. You know, I definitely haven't been partying like cocaine and shit. Yeah, I yeah. might smoke some weed in the summer when I come home. Yeah. I'm drinking, but it's not like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so this yeah, is like yeah. six years later. It's like we not, we both not the same person. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's kids here. There's three kids here now. They big. They're not babies. You know yeah, what I mean? When you yeah. in your thirties with a little baby, you know what I mean? That shit yeah, is fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, take yeah. it take it to a restaurant, show niggas. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is my, this you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is my, this is my little third time with me. So oh, Sibia, baby, Sibia yeah. was treating his kids like the way that dude treats the boa constrictor. You just bring it around like, yeah, right. you can pet it. But yeah, I mean, that's pictures. But, yeah, I was dead ass, like as a black dude, like you get, like I can walk around my kids, they can get everything for free. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because like yeah, yeah. people love that shit. They yeah. love, like I could walk oh. in a restaurant, eat food and be like, oh, we had to pay? And they'll be like, oh, no, 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 it's cool, like. Man, you got it. You know what I mean? Like, like you, I could get away with murder with the kids around. You know what I mean? Like, I can do anything I want with the kids. Like, people will fucking watch them for me. You know what I mean? Like, all types of shit. Like, I, me and the kids, like, we get shit. We get free shit. You know what I mean? We be outside. Anytime I'm with the kids. The kids love it with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was just like, you know, now the kids is big. You know what I mean? They like preteen. The oldest one's like a preteen. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like, it's not the same. Does he, yeah, I mean, now you're a parent. He, now you're a parent. He, parent. You does know what he mean? get? Does he get how you live? Like, does he understand that you live, or is he on that like old? Oh my! Well, my daughter's the oldest one. Oh, okay. So I think. I mean, they know I work at night. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. And they know, like, you know what I mean? Like, they've seen shows. Yeah. And like, so they know was happening yeah. but they don't know like they never been to like the after party no 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 no. <laughs> it's funny. You know, they never been to the hang but they've it, seen shows and dj sets and stuff it's funny because like this is my second marriage so my first marriage okay. i my my wife then had a two-year-old and i raised her and okay. um and i remember we going we like she we were going to uh like my wife then was smoking hot and i was like I was young and in the gym, right. just like right. I was still stripping, right? <laughs> it was just, it, it, and she was like, like she, we would go to a parent teachers meeting, and she would be like, "Well, don't be kissing each other." Like, she, and I was like, "Yo, you don't even understand how hot me and your mom's is." Like, right? Like, I had to say, "Yo, right. when we go to parent teacher." You check out everybody else's mom and then tell me what right. it is. First of all, I'm rolling up with a 1300 Hayabusa. Like, right. you, you, like you, <laughs> everybody else is in the minivan. Like, you're bugging. Yeah. But it, it's just the. I'm wondering if they they get a feel of, um, you know, of how live you are, or is it still like, like they get it, but don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they get it in their... I mean, I still turn up with them at their yeah. little functions, you know what I mean? Like, with their <laughs> yeah. friends and shit, you know what I mean? So I'm still turning up. Like, and their friends are like, oh, yo, daddy is. your yeah, dad like, is great. Your dad is dope, you know. Right. Yo, I mean, I don't... Do, yeah, so, let's do... Right. We're going to do something... No, for, huh? Yeah. We got... Because we're doing 5.30. We're doing... Okay. The other, so all right. Wrapping um, up with Simeon. Shit. I fucked it up. Nah, don't uh, worry about it. Just, we, I'm we sorry. Just have, nigga, you back. We'll just have you back <laughs> on. You ain't going nowhere. All right, let's do it. I'm with it. Um, Sim, man, it's good to see you, bro. Really. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. You know what me. I'm saying? I, I know you feel the love, fam. I know of you course, feel the love. Of course. Um, I think yeah. I'm going to go out tonight, go hang out, turn up with you a little bit. Yeah, tonight. man. I'm going to go lay down right now. You know, I'm a little you, older. Are, we got to do the nap, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a pre party nap now? You pre I am, That's yeah. your pre gaming now? <laughs> well, I'm gonna drink a beer, take a nap, and then go uh, uh, eat some rice and bread. <laughs> you really prepping, right? I'm. Re I know how to do this. I've some been doing egg this a long time. <laughs> right? I've been doing this a long time. Simeon exactly is the Jerry Rice of partying. <laughs> <laughs> right? See, it's all about it's all about your training. Yeah, you can't just jump in got, the ring. What you got going on, Sim? You got anything going August on? August twenty. I mean, April 29th. I'm doing my talk show debuting my little talk show comedy show. It's called What's Really Good Though. It's right. at the gutter on uh 200 North 14th Street in Brooklyn. No, that's no, April no. 29th, 9 p.m. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram, Sim de la Creme. And that's it. Not Sammy. crazy. You know. Love see you, me fam. in the street. Love you. Love you, man. Love you too, man. For real, for real. Uh, right, Harry, talk to me. Uh, all my stuff is at Harry Turjani, and that's it. And just the main thing is uh, sign up for Patreon because we're gonna, we're doing bonus episodes and different things like that. Uh, listener mail, bonus content over at Patreon.com. Yeah, and keep it, keep keep listening out because when we're gonna be going live. We're gonna be going live and doing calls and stuff. Um, Y'all know how to get me. Google me, bitch. Uh, <laughs> Gybb, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. 
Peace. We out.